Blue Lock Chapter 214, titled Work, resumed after Asagi managed to score the first goal of the match with his left foot. While I could believe that Asagi was overpowered due to him being ambidextrous, Lorenzo immediately realized that wasn't the case as he called out Asagi over his deceiving shot. After speaking to Asagi, Lorenzo rallied up his teammates as they got down to business. As the match resumed, Ubers had possession of the ball, however, Lorenzo and Ubers weren't being aggressive at all. Isagi wanted to intercept their attacks using his eyes. But with Uber's steady buildup, it was difficult for Isagi to steal the ball. Thus, he started focusing on Baru's movements as those could kickstart Uber's attack. Blue Lock Chapter 214 Spoilers then started to depict a flashback of Italy's stratum room back at the start of the Neo Egoist League. As the Blue Lock and U20 players arrived at the stratum, Uber's master Snuffy introduced himself to them and inquired about their perspectives on football. Each of the players had a strong emotional response to it as to how it was worth risking their lives for. However, Snuffy wasn't satisfied with their answers as he had an altogether different ideology. As per him, there was nothing wrong with being passionate about football, however, if they happened to have an unfortunate incident, it could break them. Thus, he asked the players to think of football as work. He asked his players to think of Ubers as a company, themselves as employees, and their matches as work. After going through each of the players' data, Snuffy had already come up with various tactics and game plans. He asked the players to study them and emulate them on the field. If the tactics happen to fail, it's his fault as their manager and the players need not worry. While Snuffy's ideology, which was revealed in Blue Lock Chapter 214, was new to the Blue Lock and U20 Japan players, they were excited to adapt this to their lifestyle during their time at Ubers. Blue Lock Chapter 214 returned its focus back to the game as Asagi was still trying to steal the ball from Ubers when he noticed Baru's movements. Sendo passed the ball to Baru, however, as he was being marked by Birkenstock, and Asagi was able to intercept the pass. Just as Asagi was planning to start his counter-attack, Baru signaled to his teammates to retrieve the ball as three Ubers players started pressing Asagi for the ball. Given the speed with which the Ubers players were charging towards him, Asagi could not use his metavision in time and happened to lose the ball to Nico. Isagi couldn't do anything but look at Nico in disbelief. Isagi could not believe that this was all part of Uber's tactics, slow tempo while attacking, high press on losing the ball, and counterattacks upon retrieving the ball.